Now this is something that has pissed me off for a long time. We have had the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 3 for goddamn how many years and you finally brought out this. Where have you been Sony? Okay, where have you been? So what I'm going to show you is how to configure this onto your PC. So what you need to do is you need to go to input mapper, right? Go to inputmapper.com and then click on downloads and then uh, 1.5 and then you just select your file there so you select okay 1.531 I'm going to click on that shit I'm going to click on download all right you click on download you can accept the above conditions you can pretend that you read that shit but you don't really read it you click on download okay now it's going to download this file you click on it you're going to accept the whatever it's called okay um automatically uh, well, one second right you're gonna get this get off the first screen mate okay now you're gonna get this and you're gonna click on i agree to the licensing terms conditions right and then you're gonna click on install now i've already got it installed so i'm not gonna install that so i'm gonna close that shit right okay now do you want to cancel yeah i, I want to cancel so whatever you're gonna install that you can click on next 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 and then you're done okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on start and then you're gonna go to input mapper click on that and then you're gonna find that this comes up right now I got no controllers plugged in so what I've got is PS4 controller USB connected that went up my nose okay you can plug that in let me see it plug it in plug it in so the light comes up see the light see, it? see the cool light all right now it's fully charged that's good so if you click on this arrow you can go and uh, select all the uh, lovely um, profiles you can create all the profiles I've created one for myself and one for the uh, GPA emulator because I like to play um, Game Boy Advance games like Pokemon and stuff like that on the GBA um, and then what you can do next is gonna play a game just, you, all you have to do is just literally play a game now you can go into uh, what was it like if you edit profile you can see all that kind of stuff you know it, it mimics the Xbox controller all right so that's cool that's all you gotta do um, settings um, you want to start it with Windows you can start it minimized if you want to um, use exclusive mode I don't know what that is but apparently you should tick it now for the next part for the next part of this show you're probably thinking to me well this device here can do it via wireless and I don't want to use a cable which I can give you this answer you can do it via wireless of course it's via Bluetooth duh you know so how do you do it well disconnect this damn bloody cable throw out the window well don't throw out the window because you need to charge your device but you know whatever um, and then literally just um, you know get your bluetooth dongle you can you know i've got i got one right here bluetooth right okay you can literally go on to amazon.co.uk and then you can find yourself loads of bluetooth dongles i'm gonna plug it in right here cool so check this one out look you know 25.99 to 7.99 that's a bargain mate that is a bargain so just buy that shit, you know, add to basket. I'm not going to add to basket. Why am I doing that shit anyway? Uh, you can buy yourself some um, wireless Bluetooth headsets. That, that's uh, pretty cheap for, it's probably shit, but never mind. You can buy that shit, you know. You can buy yourself a nice stand there. You can buy, buy this transmitter thing. You can buy you can buy yourself a DVD, internal DVD burner if you want DVDs burned. Anyway, let's go back to the input mapper. So if we go back to home, um now it ain't, it ain't connected it, it does it doesn't refresh that well so it might i can i can guarantee it ain't connected right it ain't turned on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press uh no no no, no. what you gotta do is actually sorry um sorry you gotta go to uh blue tooth okay bluetooth settings now this this is gonna come up right and what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the PS button and the share button at the same time and hold it. 
just hold it right there okay okay come on now you see it's blinking you see it's blinking all right it's blinking now this comes up see ready to pair so you just click on pair you don't have to enter any code it comes up and then you can see it has come up all right okay it's connected all right i'm connected so if we close input mapper i'm gonna close it okay and then i'm gonna relaunch it all right bear in mind it's still connected here you can still see it's connected now it's connected see that wireless and it works it, it works look, look look if i move the mouse i can move the mouse you see that shit i'm moving the mouse with with the touchpad how about that it works it works it works how about that so that's how you can connect your ps4 to your pc via cable and via bluetooth and you don't have to spend shitty money on this device which probably is going to cost you about 50 quid you know or even more because that's what they they love to do you know let, let, let's see the reviews let's see the reviews um the, uh, yeah yeah it's, it's all about max in this place so that's it that's it i hope you enjoyed um this tutorial it ain't really a tutorial i i don't know what to call it it's just a guide or some shit i don't know but i hope you enjoy it and uh don't forget uh, like subscribe and um, share this video to help others learn how to connect their ps4 controller to their pc so i'll see you soon take care bye